getting a little ahead of the camera. It's a little dusty here. I'm getting a little ahead of the camera because it's overwhelming. As you can see, I just busted a hole through this fence so I can come around this side and not go all the way around that building there. Got some repair to do. This was just completely covered up with these trees and stuff, you know, and the water just sets and rust the metal. So this is just the lean-to part. This here is 25 by 60, I believe, because this is 25 by 20. So there's another 60 foot here that makes 80 total. So this goes into the what's gonna be the machine room where we put our milling machines. Use it for storage and stuff. Gonna replace these doors, make some nice doors. We got an air compressor. I don't know if that works. That came with it. And then uh, what we got to do here, eventually this is all gonna be closed in, this whole side. But what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna go up here and put a beam, like a steel beam, and try to take out some of these posts. Maybe do mm, one there and one here and take out these two. And then maybe same thing there. I don't know, we'll see. See how far we can span it, because the less post in the middle, the better, because you know somebody's going to want to hit that thing. And then we'll frame this up over here. Um, either put some square posts and some kind of angle and just kind of frame it up for siding, or maybe even use what's there. We'll see. But that's not stage one. Stage one is getting the inside done. Just took down shelves, just like this, all the way across here. And uh, those are all coming down, too. Big garage door there, it's a 12 by 12. And then back here you've got a, I think it's 18 or 20 foot deep by 60 foot wide lean-to. And I think what I'm gonna do is, is have all my steel back here. That's a big oil tank. All this stuff is coming out, it's just junk. Um, few things in here, I've kinda pulled out stuff that might be valuable, have some use to it. I mean, these tires on these little dollies are just ripped and shredded. There's a whole bucket there I gotta go through. It's got uh, casters, that whole cart over there's full of casters for scaffolding. This is an oil tank. It's got an oil heater inside, like a furnace kind of deal up in the ceiling. That's all coming out. I just don't wanna deal with the oil. I don't want it here. It's just a pain in the butt. Uh, so I'll get some kind of electric um, heater. You know, we don't really run a lot of heat. We have a wood stove currently, but our shop's small. This is a lot bigger square footage. I don't think I'll do a wood stove. We'll see, but I don't really want to deal with the oil stuff. So I'd rather do electric, a little more expensive, but we really don't use it. We kind of knock the chill off and that's about it. So you see some patches here, um, hole there, hole there, panel over there, that vent right there. I gotta see if it works, if it does, might move that depending on whether we close this in or not. So, and then this side I have not touched really. So, we had to do an environmental inspection for our financing with the bank and so we had to kind of do a little cleanup prior to that this was a painting commercial painting and sandblasting facility didn't really have much sand here there is this pallet i showed you earlier um it did come with these two lean lean twos carports i'll move them away from the building and use them for uh, grinding areas or something. We might could even put sides on them. Pretty easy to get that metal, close them in, make them grinding areas or uh, paint booths or who knows what. So they're cool to have. And then this is all sand. We'll keep that. I think it's an empty tote. It did come with this nice little grill over here. I'm pretty excited about. I had one of these years ago and ended up selling it, but that's pretty cool. We'll go through that thing. I'm already on a trailer. Check the tires, maybe put some new tires on it or something. I don't know what those go to. Freaking brand new tires there. So there's a lot of stuff. Man, we've got, I uh, just filled a dumpster up. I'll show you that in a second. This is pretty much gonna be nothing but storage area because my septic tank is right over there. My drain fields, I got 200 foot lines that run straight to the corner of this building over here. All this fence is coming down, so we'll open all that up. But, We'll strip the top of this off, re-gravel it. I'll get, uh, we'll make some bollards, septic tanks right over here. We already had that pumped out, um, had it uh, inspected to be sure everything was good. They marked the lines for me. So we'll come in and put a uh, bollard at each end and one on each side 
and sink them in concrete. That way nobody drives over it. And then my sub, you can see my pink and blue flags running down through here. And then my property lines here, all this is coming out. So all those trees, all that fence that's mangled with it, we're taking all that at one time, not gonna save the fence because it would take way too much time and the fence is just in such rough shape. So the goal is to take all that out. First phase is this, get all that out, regrade it, new fence. And then out front here, I'll show you. So a lot of storage area. It's about, uh, I think it's like just under two acres. 1.96 is what's on the deed. A lot of traffic. I think the traffic count on this road is somewhere between 15 and 20,000 cars per day. So a nice sign out there saying commercial industrial welding and fabrication. <laughs> oh, excuse me, that dust is getting to me. We have gotten away from residential and I don't really want to do it, to be honest with you. I do a, a few little small things here and there and you'll see me on some, doing some videos for you guys, but just not, uh, not my cup of tea anymore. Not really what I want to do. So this is a, mm, I don't know if it's a 30 or 40 yard dumpster. I'm six foot. It's just a little over seven foot. I mean, you gotta climb a ladder to get on this freaking thing. It's probably 25 or 30 foot long. Ugh. And it is full to the brim. 90% of it is this freaking rubber hose. Look at this stuff. This is like freaking two and a half inch thick or uh, two and a half damn, but a two and a half inch wide rubber hose for sandblasting. There's some other stuff in here, but I'm telling you like 90 to 95% of what's in this thing freaking rubber hose i mean i was just pallets of it and i wasn't about to save it so that's the first dumpster they're gonna come get this it's saturday come get this and go dump it and bring it back so i can work some more and all i'm doing here is just kind of in between kind of stripping some of the crap off so i started a little pile over here it's just junk it's all just sediment stuff that's on top of there's actually a lot of gravel in here which i had a feeling there would be because they used to use all this for storage <coughs> you can see they've been sandblasting out here it's a pile of leftover sand we'll strip that off and probably just throw it away it's got too much stuff mixed in it i don't want to sift it through screens but you can see i've been kind of stripping here and the trick to this is not digging too deep you just want to skim just the top off and you can see kind of right here. And the way I figured out the best way to do it is you make one pass and go super, super slow and then you get down to your, your gravel. And then on the next one, you only do about three quarters of your bucket so you can see the, the edge of your bucket. You can just kind of go right along and you can see it, it'll start scooping it up. And you got a few little spots here, but like I said, we got a 953 cat loader coming this weekend and he'll start on Monday taking all these trees out. All this fence, all the trees, all the way up. So there's a bank up here. Um, we've got to see if we can find the, <coughs> see if we can find the property line. Cause I have a feeling it, it probably is on that bank. I don't know. They took that off and I think graded this and graded some of the other side. Grading to do to get the water shed off. Maybe even build some of this up over here. We'll see. Um, once we get these trees out, that'll help dry it out too. But as you can see here, the fence isn't bad. The problem is you got these trees growing through it. And so you go through and try to pick out freaking trees. The likelihood of saving that is gonna be really, really tough. I mean, that's just straight through it. That whole section all the way down is just covered. You got like a good few feet here, but I just don't think it's feasible to uh, to try and save it. Like I said, I was getting ahead of the camera because I had it on time-lapse cleaning all that stuff up. I just wanted to get that done so I could go dump it today because they've got to dump it. They, uh, I think it, the landfill closes at one o'clock, so she's coming at 11 to, grab it and take it and dump it and bring it back 
I'll work on it some more and then he's coming Monday he's gonna use it too for filling up with some of the stuff they pull out of here there's a whole pile of pallets and stuff over there we got to bust up there was a little shed over there um, got to get rid of all that tin and metal so everything out here is just gonna be clean and wide open all the way to the from the road all the way to the property line and then we got a bunch of metal to recycle got probably 20 or 30 50 gallon drums they're all empty got a beam here we're gonna save might actually use that for in here and I would take you inside this door's locked and the power's off so the owner that we bought it from just had the power cut off and I did not um, I was on hold with Duke power turn you around here I was on hold with Duke power and, and didn't want to set on hold I was on there for like 10 or 15 minutes and just didn't have time so I've got to call them back and get the power on and um, I don't really need it right now anyway. I got too much to do out here to get this stuff cleaned up. Waiting on some electrical prices. We're upgrading to three phase. I'll show you the panel here. It used to have three phase because there's a CT cabinet here and they must have downgraded. So there's the uh, transformer for a single phase there. They'll, they're gonna put an inline post because that has to stay because all the exterior lights, that one and like four others that I'm gonna have put on, uh, they're on single phase. So they're gonna set an inline pole uh, three bank transformer and then it'll come underground over here and that's the meter now this is the old one not sure why they downgraded and why they left that but um, unfortunately we can't use it that box is too small so 24 by 24 we need like a 36 by 36 or a 40 by 40 so we're doing 600 amp 208 three phase I struggled with figuring out what I needed I'm still not 100% and the reason is because most everything I've got, or I've actually got 208 three phase now that I upgraded to a few years ago at the current shop. And I was just unsure if I want to go 480, then you have to have a transformer to step down. But if I get a press break, which is the plan, the reason for having this massive shop, upgrading that, getting more people, offering more jobs and getting more equipment. Everything pretty much that I need or want to get will run on single phase or 208 three phase, except for a press break from what I've seen. They all seem to be 240, 480. So what we've got planned is 600 amp, 208 three phase. And then once we get a press break, we'll do a transformer and we'll do a transformer from 208 to 480. So we'll step up and um, that should be fine i've got 400 amp now and i'm i got plenty of power 600 is going to be even more and, and the biggest thing running is welders uh so i think we'll be good but as you can see we have a lot to do just stuff i think they were hoarders to be honest with you i'm just making a little scrap pile here of metal uh, I don't know if that tank right there is that's a pressure tank. You know, it is on a well and septic, so I, I may keep that just to see if that's any good. But like I said, all this is coming down. The roof on this section, the, the roof on the main building is actually TPO. It's covered with TPO. It's like a rubber membrane material. Um, I don't know what TPO stands for, but uh, these aren't the best. They don't look bad from under here, but you get up top and they're not looking the best. So not 100% sure what I'm going to do, replacing those is extremely expensive from what i've uh gathered from from one quote so far so i don't know we'll see they don't really leak or anything this one's good on this side because it, it butts up and it's covered by the tpo over here there's a gap um that's why i'm not worried about closing this one in at the moment there's a gap as you can see where it goes to the oh like there it goes it butts up to the end of the building so not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do But anyway, hope you guys are as excited as I am because, man, like I said, I've been working on this. It's taken me 10 months to get this deal done and signed. So we're back under the lean-to here. This is, like I said, 20, it's either 25 or 28 out, and then 60 foot from the tool room here all the way down. 
once we get our power going i'll check all this see if this is working but for now since i've got all this out i'm gonna go ahead and blow i got my backpack blower my wife came and uh, dropped that off I'm just gonna blow everything out and i'll take the skid steer and just kind of push it up and then put it in my my skim pile over here but at least that'll get all the stuff off the ground i've still got to take those shelves down but uh we'll do that so see if i can get set up here 